So that's Ryan. He lives in a Ford Econoline and he's a photographer from New York. We met a few days ago on our campground outside of Glacier National Park. For the last year, we caravaned around the United States, backpacked around northern India, and quarantined together in my mom's cabin in northern Arizona. There will be videos on all those adventures later. And this is Nova. She's a mutt we adopted from the High Country Humane Society in Flagstaff. I'm Anna French, a nomadic digital storyteller who has lived in my van Casper for a year full-time and two years part-time. You can find me on Instagram at SpinTheGlobeProject and on my website SpinTheGlobeProject.com where I blog about van life and ethical adventure travel. Today is our anniversary and we're going on a little adventure to the Blue Ridge Reservoir, um, which is kind of near where we've been based out of in northern Arizona uh, during quarantine at my mom's cabin. So uh, this is our first time testing out our brand new um, inflatable pack raft um, that we got from Cocapelli. So we're really excited. Uh, my mom is watching Nova. We just thought it would be better because it's actually a really hot day. It's like 99 degrees out. So we didn't want to like put Nova through that um, and test out the kayak all at the same time. And since it's our anniversary, we just figured we'd have a little bit of a date um, since we've been cooped up for months. And then we'll probably be camping up on the Mugyan Rim tonight. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Outdoors, which has been proving to be a little difficult considering that everyone else has the same idea. So we finally escaped the crowds. This is our first like test of the of the Twain inflatable kayak by Coca Pelli. So we pulled over and we're just trying to inflate it, self-inflate it a little bit. You can store like the little patch kit. There's a fin to help with tracking, which we're gonna get out now. There we go. Now we got a tracking fin. Hopefully that'll help our paddling a little easier. Brian's checking how deep the water is to see if he's safe enough to jump off this little boulder. Oh. If anyone lost a pair of Patagonia. teal Patagonia shorts, Ryan has them. <laughs> Where was that? It was in New Mexico near right outside, uh, El Moro, Canyon, like El Moro so. Monument, I think. We put some more air in, in the, in the boat, and we had a little snack, swam a bit, and now we're gonna head a little further down the reservoir, and test out the boat with a little bit more air, see how it goes. Turns out the tracking fin helps a lot. <laughs> Glad we stopped to blow up the kayak a bit more and put the tracking fin on. It's a lot smoother ride now. I'm kind of missing Nova. I wish we'd brought her. We've seen quite a few dogs. Um, it's not as hot as the, the forecast said it was gonna be. And there's quite a nice breeze, so she probably would have been fine. 
Um, one year ago today, uh, Ryan and I met um, at a river bank right outside of Glacier National Park. And we've pretty much been together like 24 seven since that moment. Um, she hasn't killed me yet, so. So Ryan's been doing a great job of paddling us while I take photos. Um, this has been really peaceful. I'm pretty happy with this raft. Um, it's a little bit more durable than it kind of seems like it would be for a 13 pound pack raft. I guess a lot more durable. Ryan, would you like to share the news? Or? I sold my van. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to Colorado now. Um, we're actually going on a backpacking trip near the like Silverton area. Actually, we're probably doing like three kind of small backpacking trips combining them. And Nova just refuses to sit in the back. So she's up here um, on my lap. This is Nova's first backpacking trip, so we're pretty excited for her too. And we've been training her with a little uh, dog pack. So she's probably gonna carry about five pounds, which is probably just her food and um, maybe a little bit of water, we haven't decided. So hopefully she does well. The weather's gonna be a lot cooler there than it is in Northern Arizona. So we're kind of just excited to escape the heat and it should be fun. These are my friends Katie and Jake. We made it to our camp spot um, at Ice Lake Basin. This is the first lake and it's beautiful. This is my second time here and Ryan's first. The lake. Freezing. And it's cold. And my head's got a headache already. From the cold? Yeah, because it like. Do you like it? Nova was such a trooper. I'm so impressed. It was her first backpacking trip. She carried her own bag, food, and one liter of water.
socially distanced camping right here. We're at Ice Lake Basin, or Ice Lake Trail, um, and you can see two of the lakes. I don't know what the second one is called. I think the first one, the bluer one, is called Ice Lake. Um, and there are, I think, four lakes up on this trail. And we're gonna see, we've seen two so far. We're gonna skip the farthest one because I've done it before and it's not, it's kind of anticlimactic. But Nova's really enjoyed her, her first backpacking trip and it's been really, Lovely, um, it's a little tough sleeping in a tiny little tent with a dog. And it's good to get out now. It's good to get out. Get out. So this is Island Lake here, and it is the last lake we are stopping at before we head back to the cars for the night. We managed to pack the kayak itself in Ryan's bag, figuring out the paddle situation. We're hiking a Highland Mary Lake, I believe, just outside of Silverton. Uh, like day three of hiking. Here's the crew. So here's Ryan. He's such a trooper. He is carrying the kayak after being sore <laughs> from our other hike. Katie is the awesome trip leader and planner. <laughs> and Jake is our other pack mule. I've been pleasantly surprised with all the people being responsible, wearing masks, at least when they pass others. That's what we've been doing too. Boyfriend. Altitude good and Ryan a bit. Yeah. We found a nice spot. We got to the lake. Now we're gonna chill. And then we're gonna blow up the kayak test out the tie zip, put our stuff in it. It'll be Nova's first time in the kayak. We still have not seen Nova swim. <laughs> I don't know that she knows she can. Okay, so there's the kayak. Rolls up nice and nice and relatively small. This is the tie zip function where you can put your gear in to keep it dry. No sharks were killed in the making of that fin. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I did that. <laughs> so it comes with two of these, but we decided to only pack one just for weight. And then Ryan can just use this as his backrest. What did you forget? 
Um, I screwed up. I brought the two male connectors and the two female connectors are back in the van. So we're using these as pores. And yeah. back to Katie's car and then and then the van we just hiked to Highland Mary Lake it was really awesome we uh, got to kayak on it with a Cocapelli Twain which was our first time using it as kind of a pack raft we packed it in Ryan's bag and inflated it when we got up here so it worked out really well it's our second time using it first time packing it on a hike and it's awesome. <laughs> San Juan Wilderness was really amazing and the Twain Pack Wrap by Cocapelli allowed us to take our trip to the next level. Hopefully next time we'll pack the right paddles. I'm relieved that Nova is such a great backpacker and maybe one day she'll learn to swim. Overall, road tripping during COVID-19 was easier than expected, but I'm glad that we waited so long to learn more about the virus and how it spreads so we can keep ourselves and others safe. What we learned is that outdoor activities make it easier to socially distance and help reduce the risk of getting COVID. You should wear a mask when with people outside of your quarantine bubble unless they are consenting adults who are okay with potentially being exposed. You should also quarantine after your trip for two weeks and just generally follow CDC safety guidelines. I highly recommend generously applying hand sanitizer before and after getting in and out of your car and getting gas or other supplies. Please also avoid stopping on Native American reservations that have been really hard hit by the pandemic. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe for future van life travel and adventure videos.